All right, everybody, Joshua Casper back at you with Plug and Boutique, and we're still checking out MXXX by Melda Productions. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up routing for modulation sources. It's actually very easy and intuitive. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a module inside of the system over here, and I'm just going to choose the auto panner. We got auto pitch. Go ahead and search for it, auto, auto pan and boom goes the dynamite. So the modulation controls are over here, are these mod windows over here. And if you can't see that, it's because it's probably folded down and you'll see it meters and subsystems. Click that and then you'll see the utilities down here at the bottom. Okay, so uh, the first thing we wanna do is turn one on, right? And you'll see that it's green, that means it's activated. If you click it, these are the options. We're gonna get into there in a second. But what we wanna do is click right here and say learn. So I'm gonna click learn and then I'm gonna go move any parameters that I want to be modulated by this modulator. So I'm gonna hit learn and let's modulate the rate. So just click and move it a little bit and the depth. And then come in again and just click that button again and it will stop recording. And look, you'll see that these parameters are being modulated by this modulation system. And you know, we can change the, the shape here. If we bring it up, we can check the frequency. We can make it go faster. We can make it go crazy fast if we wanted to. Look at that, how fast that's going right now. Or we can slow it way down. Uh, we can also sync instead of using the frequency. I'm gonna leave it on frequency for now. We can change the smoothest. So we're gonna change the shape down there. You know, we've really got a lot of possibilities to really make some interesting things. So let's go ahead and run the drum loop I have and just hear it in action. Okay, so right now uh, we've got a certain range going on. If we wanna change those ranges, we just gotta come over here to the parameters, click it, and then you have the ability to set the values and set the maximum value. Uh, you can change by full range, up and down, up only, down only, really anything you want. Right now we've got it at an interval, let's go full range. So full depth down here. And again, you can just come over here and look at what's going on. So right now we're adjusting the rate. So that's what's happening according to the rate, okay? And if we wanna change the other one, just gotta click it. And again, we have all those same controls. We can even change its name if we wanted to. We can also use other modulation systems here. We can use the follower, which is gonna react to the incoming signal. So if we play that drum loop again. You can see that the parameters are reacting to that incoming signal. We can also use an envelope. You know, we can get some random stuff and some pitch effects too. Really, the modulators are just incredible. And just like everything else inside of MXXX, you have full control over everything. Anything you could possibly want, you have it somewhere inside of here. Clear, clear out of that. We can also choose random stuff as well. Look at this, just randomizing. Just so much possibility. So anyway, that's how to set up routing inside of here. All you gotta do again is add a module that you want, like some reverb, for example, and go ahead, click this and learn. If you already had something, like if we wanted to reverse or get rid of the auto pan routing we did before, we just hit clear and learn, or we can just reset and then go to learn. So I'm gonna learn for the reverb here, come in, play with the size, the dry wet, and what else, reverb time. And then come back over, boom, it's not recorded anymore. We turn it on and right off the bat, we've got modulation happening. And I forgot to set my limiter. And whenever you're doing some experimenting like this, it's always a good idea to put that limiter on there just as a safety precaution. And no matter what you do now, even if you randomize the entire plugin, the limiter is gonna stay on. So you don't have to worry about going back and like, you know, turning it on every time. 
But anyway, that was a quick look at how to set up modulators inside of MXXX by Melda Productions. I got a bunch of other video tutorials out here already if you want to go check them out. This is a beast of a plugin. It's really all plugins wrapped up in one, and you've got full control. So definitely check it out. Links in the video description. Joshua Casper here. I hope you learned something. We will see you in the next video. Thank you.